Hey y'all, Jill here with Hillbilly Jilly's Garden and Farm. Canning, a little bit of everything actually. We saw something really cool that we're going to share with you. Um, canning crackers. We eat uh, lots of crackers, especially in the winter time with soups and chilies and stews. And there's nothing worse than going back in our pantry and pulling out our crackers only to find that there's meal malls or that they're stale. In fact, uh, when we buy new crackers and if I eat some of them, then I have to end up putting them in the refrigerator to keep them uh, from getting stale or getting uh, meal moths in them. So, we're going to try something different. This is dry canning crackers, and from what I understand, these will last a long time. But I want you to think about, it's a supercharged Tupperware save. We have our pint and our quart drawers packed with um, the, the crackers that we enjoy. Um, each of these quarts held about a sleeve and a quarter of the crackers. Uh, the saltines, each of these uh, quarts held a whole sleeve. This is pretty exciting to me. Um, I'm eager to see how this turns out. Now they say that uh, these will last up to five to ten years, but honestly, crackers are not going to last that long in my house. I think that uh, if it makes them stay fresh six months to a year, then I'm going to be extremely happy, and uh, we'll see how this works out. This recipe does not call for the lids to be boiled, so um, but it does. You need to make sure that you do wipe the rims. You do not want to get uh, any kind of liquid into your crackers, so make sure you uh, wring out your your damp paper towel, wipe everything down, and then we are just simply going to put our lids and our bands on here, and we are going to uh, put them in an oven, a cool oven, and we're going to set it on 225 degrees. Once it hits 225 degrees, we're going to let them cook for 30 minutes. Um, you do not want to put these jars in the oven, in a preheated oven that's 225 because they are cool and it might cause some uh, cracking or it might cause some changes in the vacuuming. So, we're gonna put our lids on, we're gonna put them in the oven, we're gonna turn it up to 225, and we're gonna, once it hits 225, we're gonna let them sit in there for 30 minutes. Check back with you in a bit. The oven preheated up to two, uh, 225 pretty quick, so now we've set the timer for 30 minutes. We're gonna let them uh, stay in there for 30 minutes. It shouldn't change uh, the crackers, it shouldn't bake them anymore, it's just gonna seal them up. We'll let you know how it looks after 30 minutes. Okay, the crackers have been in there for 30 minutes. Now we're gonna turn off the oven. And we're gonna open it up and crack it and let them sit in there until they cool. Then we're gonna bring them out and they're gonna be all ready to go. All done, let them cooled off inside the oven and we brought them out. They should vacuum seal. So we're looking forward to see how these work out for us. They began to seal, so uh, we think that they're gonna be just fine. We wanna do a disclaimer here. Uh, the USDA does not recommend dry canning. Um, kind of to me, I'm not considering my personal project this as dry canning. Um, I'm considering it as kind of preserving them for about six months in a uber Tupperware container. I don't expect to put these on the shelf for five to ten years. I expect that they'll last me three or four months, um, a little bit longer than what the box will, will last me. I'm just trying to keep them safe and trying to keep them crispy and keep the meal malls out. So uh, happy canning. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like our channel, please subscribe.